video. Today we are going to work with this position we have on the board. I found this in Boreski's Endgame Manual. It's a very good book. I suggest to any serious chess player. Well, in this position it is white to move and white is winning. White has a pawn down but uh, the extra pawn is doubled here for black and the other important thing in this position is that white king is much more active than black king so try to focus and think a little by yourself like a couple of minutes and try to find some solution to win this endgame okay well in this position there is something that can help us to organize a little our ideas if by some way we can get this pawn on c6 we will win the endgame because then we will get the one on c5 and for sure we will get the one on a4 and it will be winning for white so that's one of the keys here you get the one on c6 and you win the endgame and the other important thing is that uh, it is not going to be so easy because if we play something like king d6 he's going to play king b6 taking regular opposition here and after king d7 king b7 and it is not clear how we can get anything this is the moment where we need to use one of the tools or concepts we already studied some time before we are going to use here distant opposition just to recall distant opposition is when there is a not number of squares between both kings if we can get distant opposition maybe we will be able to get a regular opposition and probably we will get this pawn and the other pawns and win the endgame so uh, when we analyze the position we see that a uh, black king next move will be something like uh, king b6 or king a6 for sure one of them so the next move for white the first move for white will be king f5 the idea is that after this king moves here or here we will be able to get distant opposition because there will be a not number of squares three squares between our kings after king b6 the next move for white king f6 as you can see there are three squares between both kings so right now black I mean white took distant opposition after king b7 we cannot advance yet because something like king e5 is not going to work black will play king a7 just uh, getting ready so after something like king d6 king b6 and they will keep the opposition and they won't uh, lose in that endgame so the idea here is that this is not a good moment to advance king e5 doesn't work and king e7 doesn't work either because black can play king a7 again with distant opposition so we just keep uh, the idea of taking distant opposition to see if in the next move there is some way to advance and make some progress um, black plays here king b6 and here let's analyze we can try some advance in this position because after king e8 he doesn't have a way to take either regular or distant opposition and we are advancing so that's okay uh, king e8 black can play something like king a7 maybe the next move for white I would like you to think about it it will be king e7 taking distant opposition again after the next move king a8 then we can use the same idea we will advance as black won't have the possibility to take either regular or distant opposition so that should be very good we are advancing and he's not getting anything so we can play king d6 threatening here and here at the same time black has to play king b7 to protect the pawn on c6 
and here we can continue uh, with the idea of getting the pawn c6 to win the endgame and play king d7 also king c5 should win but well let's continue with our plan king d7 black plays for example king b6 and then we continue making progress king c8 after king a6 then we play king c7 and then we capture the pawn we are going to capture for sure this and this um, of course we win the endgame so let's see the whole endgame again we play king f5 first move the idea is to get distant opposition wherever black king moves after king b6 king f6 distant opposition we keep distant opposition because uh, it is not yet a good moment to make any progress but now we can advance and black cannot take uh, any kind of opposition here and distant opposition again and now we advance that's the idea and now we get regular opposition and now we continue advancing and we win the end game so this is the video I wanted to show you today I hope you have enjoyed it if you like this kind of video about interesting end games give me likes so I can know it and I will keep it in mind for next uh, videos you are always welcome to subscribe so that's it thank you for watching and I see you in the next video